Hello everyone, welcome to Rhino Feed. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a brand new keyboard from Glorious PC Gaming Race. It's the first keyboard on the market to include modular, hot swappable switches. Included in the box you'll find the keyboard itself, a user guide, a how to replace switches guide, a key puller, tweezers, switch remover, sticker, and an extra escape key. In my case, I also received a sampling of the various Gatoron switches. As I pointed out right away in my intro, what's unique about this keyboard is the fact that it is modular. Every individual switch is completely hot swappable. This means that you can remove a switch just as you would remove a keycap with a slightly different tool, even while the keyboard is plugged into your computer. Any plate mounted cherry style switches are compatible. To name a few, there are Cherry, Gatoron, Kale, and Zelios. However, I'm sure there are many more that can be listed. The keyboard comes with Gatoron Brown switches, but they also offer Gatoron switch packs in other varieties for around $30. They have Gatoron Black, Blue, Brown, Clear, Green, and Red. These Gatoron Browns are 45 gram with a tactile bump, much like Cherry MX Browns. I don't have a lot of experience with Gatoron switches, but these Gatoron Browns feel slightly smoother with a higher actuation point than Cherry MX Browns. They present a fantastic value. For $30, you can get a whole new set of switches for your keyboard, and it's a lot cheaper than buying an entirely new keyboard, of course. You'll also want to make sure to use SMD LED compatible switches, which are these switches with a clear housing, unless you don't care to see the backlighting. Cherry switches with these standard black housing don't let any light through them, so you won't see the backlighting. Also, each switch has two small pins on the bottom, which you'll want to check to make sure that they are straight and not bent. If they are, you can use the included tweezers to carefully bend them back. It's really not a big deal, it just happens in shipping. I've had to do it before when I built the White Fox keyboard. For this price point, the build quality is right where I would expect. The base is plastic, but they do include a matte black, sandblasted aluminum plate that gives it a slightly more premium feel. It has a low profile floating key design, which a lot of people love, and no branding, which is pretty fantastic. They also added a chrome finish to the edge of the case to give it a little bit of bling. I've had wires or cables snag under the keycaps occasionally, but I still would keep the design the way it is. It looks really nice, and I'm sure it's also much easier to replace switches without a bulky case in the way. The dimensions are 5 inches by 17 and a quarter by 7 eighths of an inch flat or 1 and a quarter inches with the feet. The weight is 30 and a half ounces. To put that into perspective, the Ducky Zero is 42 ounces, so this keyboard is actually quite light for its size. On the bottom of the case, there are cable management routes, a keycap puller storage spot, rubber feet, and flip out feet with rubber ends. The cable is non removable, but making it non removable has provided them the opportunity to give us a higher quality cable. It's gold plated and braided, and it looks really durable. The layout as you can see, is a standard 104 key ANSI layout. As this is their first debut into mechanical keyboards, I understand why they started with this layout. I would love to see a 10 keyless and 60% in the future, however, especially if they patent this modular hot swappable switches idea, which is pretty cool. The keycaps, I don't want to be too harsh, but they're probably my least favorite aspect of the keyboard. They are double shot ABS, but they use a gamer centric font that's kind of tacky in my opinion. The sides of the keycaps are also glossy, which I'm not a fan of, and could get scratched easily when removing them, especially if you use the included tool. I would never use a plastic key puller because those usually end up scratching the sides of the keycap, so I would definitely use a wire key puller. The keyboard includes red SMD LED backlighting, which goes very nicely with the black and red theme that they have going with the included ascend escape key and small indicator LEDs in the top right. And the backlighting has seven modes, but no brightness adjustment. The modes are off, on, WASD and arrow keys, horizontal wave, reactive single, reactive wave, snake, and a slow glow effect. I made up the names, so hopefully that makes sense. Of course, by watching this video, you can see what they look like, and some of them are pretty cool. There are also quite a few media keys underneath your F1 to F11 keys. There's Windows Explorer, Web, Calculator, Music, media control, and volume adjustment. In conclusion, I think this keyboard is great for people who want to try new switches without amassing a huge collection of more and more keyboards. Hence, on their product page, Glorious PC has stated 
this will be the last keyboard you will ever buy. We all know, for a lot of us, myself included, that it won't be. However, for those who haven't fallen into the mechanical keyboard addiction too far already, this could be a great keyboard to start and end with. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe.